Hi, my name is DeLance, and I'm 22. Hi, my name is Jay Saturn. I am 39. Hi, I'm Roman. I'm 25 years old. Uh, hi, I'm Steve. I'm 22. I'm Amir Yasai, and I'm 37. Only because I feel like people always get amazed whenever they see my hair. I, not to say, like, locks are definitely not common nowadays. I feel like I at least might be somewhere in the middle-ish higher, personally. We have to see the hair first, though. Hey, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. If I, it's I, up to I like me, surprises. we have to see it. I like surprises. I like surprises. <laughs> no. I trust you. I think the middle is good for you. Okay. I think we can okay, I mean, we can all agree that whatever it is, it's probably going to be something cool. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Switch over. You. A you. grand reveal. <laughs> I think I'm in the first position because of my age. I'm a good 10 years older than all of you guys, and my hair is still kicking. So, so you go last. <laughs> <laughs> but at least for hair, like, I know it's always been like a stereotype for men where it's like you're not really as into it. Mm -hmm. So when do you guys think you guys kind of realized your hair was a part of you and made it your own thing. I didn't start getting into it until like a couple of years ago, to be honest. I yeah. yeah. I didn't pay a lot of attention to it, but I was like, you know, it's a part of me, yeah. It's yeah. like a, it's literally a part no, of okay. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. tied yeah. to you. Yeah. I would do the t-shirt trick, so I would mm. put a t-shirt and then make it into hair and then do like the hair flip, but that was just me being just a gay little child. <laughs> but I always had a lot of, because I thought hair is power, right? You have Ariel, you have women who kind of like, own a room by bouncing on in, exactly. like Garnier, yeah. herbal essences if you're a little older, but those commercials really like kind of really solidified it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For me, it was actually when my mom passed away. She passed away in 2012 from cancer, and I remember telling her, yo, I'm gonna shave my head if we get to that point. She was always like, no, no, you're not shaving your head. Yeah. Your hair's so beautiful. And then she passed, and then I remember, you know, being in a depression for a little while, and then when it was finally time for me to go get a haircut, I sat in the chair, just like slumped. He's like, what do you want me to do? I was like, take it all off. He was like, are you sure? All of it? And then I was like, just take the sides off, and we'll see how I feel. And then it just kind of evolved from there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's the cool thing about hair, too. It always evolves. There's always a story, and it always just turns into something maybe you didn't expect, you know? Definitely. I mean, if I have to tell my story, I guess, like, I always had, like, big hair, um, but I was rocking the Johnny Bravo thing for a Whoa. while. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Bravo. When I was younger, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, and, like, the Elvis Presley hairstyle. And then randomly in 2021, I think, I, w I was, like, getting again into modeling, and uh, I noticed that I was just looking a little more like normie like my hair was just like a just regular <laughs> haircut yeah and also i was having issues with like taming it i had to like put on a hat too so it wasn't so voluminous and big mm -hmm. but then i started to grow it out and i noticed that the longer it grows the less it's like poofing out and like but shapes know. yeah yeah and i just never stopped cutting like i just didn't cut it for a while <laughs> and now this is what it looks like yeah that's where i'm at now too i just haven't cut it in like two three years now do you feel like part of your power is not cutting it? Like, do you yeah, feel like you'll lose no. power? Like, I feel like, yeah, no, it definitely holds energy for me. You know? Interesting. Interesting. I was gonna say, I feel like if I ever cut my hair, like, I'll have to be going through, like, a crisis. Like, yeah. something has to be going on in my life to make That's when I like, did it. I dyed it, and then I, I went, like, I buzzed it, and then I went platinum. So it was, like, it was just, it, I think sometimes when you're going through something, it refreshes your whole personality. Sure. Yeah. And you kind of start at, like, zero, and it's kind of amazing. But that's why, for me, I think it's kind of the opposite. It's not even like a cultural based thing or anything, but my parents always wanted me to have long hair. Mm. So I haven't cut my hair since I was born. Oh, like, oh wow. My hair's very long. Wow. This is going to be a reveal. Yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 yeah this is going to be a surprise so, for sure. So, 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 I love that. But see, that's the thing. I want to hype it up, but then, like, <laughs> I don't need yeah, it. But it's like, it. I just feel like a lot of the time, that's the main fact that people find surprising. I always wanted to cut it, and then I got to like 14, 15, started my lock journey, and I was like, now I'm gonna keep this for as long as I can keep it. Like, for so sure. Cool. Okay. You rank us. Yeah, I did. Number one. I think you're first. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, so let's switch. I would agree. I'll put that. Let's switch. I'll say. So okay. we're talking about that. And then I think you're in my position. So second? I'll switch with you. Yeah. Okay. Second. Yeah. I was gonna. Yeah. I'm well, being a little bossy, going, but. I'm mean, no. <laughs> gonna go off like the lustiness right now. I know I'm going on a reveal, but so. Far, I think you're good because you're gonna do a reveal. The reveal's gonna be. We can change after the reveal. I can also go last, but I feel like me and you, we just have a lot. We're gonna reveal. We're like swans. Yeah, the reveal, yeah, the reveal's right? gonna tell, yeah. And we better have like a slow motion thing going on. <laughs> I want Beyonce yeah, music. Yeah. Do you have the licensing for that? Like, I need a little moment. I need a fan. Like, I'm gonna yeah. look cute. And then, like, just, uh, I know we were talking about, like, how long our hair takes and everything. I feel like mine's a little bit of, like, a cheat code because it only does, like, one day in a month. 
and then it's a retwist. every other day I just wake up. Yeah, it's a retwist. Yeah. So like it's gotten faster over the years. So the person that does my hair, like she's been doing it for almost like eight, ten years now. Mm -hmm. um, before I would take like six hours on the chair. Is like, it painful? It used to, to be. A yeah, it used to be. I was tender headed for I'm sure. So but then I, like, I like grew out of it. I got lucky. Oh, tender headed. I yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah, I was like, that's what, yeah, that's like the term. So I would be sitting there like crying if a comb touched my hair. Like fourteen, just sitting there like. As soon as I saw a comb, I'm like, no. Like, I just didn't want to do it. The comb will give you trauma. For yeah, sure. exactly. <laughs> but then once I finally like started doing my locks and everything, like ever since then, she's gotten faster and faster. So like now it's up to like two hours maybe mm. on like a good day. And that's like her doing a style and everything, and I'm good. I will say that's probably the Okay, so you go to switch. <laughs> 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 okay, I was on. about to ask, but <laughs> I just wanted to say. <laughs> shady. Okay. He's been coming for me all day. It's fine. There's it's a lot right. to get ready. There's a lot uh, to get my ready. My pleasure. Okay. <laughs> Are we good with this one? I'm good with it. I'm cool with it. Uh, I think, yeah. I yeah, think this as of right sense. now. Yeah. yeah, we could change out the reveal, so I'm no. cool, yeah. <laughs> so I'm basically making a helmet here. <laughs> It's a little bit American Psycho, a little douchey, but you know, we're owning it. Um, I also put a little bit in my beard because, you know, why not? And don't mind the white haired Gen Z, I'm 37. Just deal with it. So here we are. And I think it's like an easy look. At, either it's this or I'm doing a man bun, so. And then you can just put your hand on it and kind of give it a little volume if you want. I learned that from a friend, a shady friend, but we love him. Here we go. <laughs> So when it comes to beards, like they get really dry and then, you know, it smells like Chinese food, which is great, but beard oil is the best thing. So I like to do maybe like two or three drops. Um, so you just put it in there and you just kind of put it all in it and it smells delicious and you're ready, you know, for day to night. Put on a little blazer and go on a date, you know? Boom, I look cute. You guys got your reveal. It's so uh -oh. good. Here's the reveal. Whoa. Oh snap! Ooh. <laughs> not the gold. It's a lot yes. longer too. Yes, for the gold. Okay. So I'll say my hair is not as necessarily hard. Like usually when I walk in, I'm over here just trying to make sure I get like a little spray going, make sure everything's kind of loosened up and kind of shining as well. So once I'm good, make sure my hair doesn't dry it out the top. Put that down. Start using it on the beard as well. And I don't necessarily like to have you know. A lot of oil just sticks in my face, so I try to put it mostly on the brush itself, just in case. I don't know if that's right or wrong, nobody's ever taught me, but I just kind of get this little brush down as well. And then if I have a comb, I'll comb it out and everything to make sure it looks nice and luscious. But I would say that's mostly it. All right, so <clears throat> to detangle my hair basically because it goes crazy, I'm gonna use like a little bit of oil. And the trick for this is using a little bit and you use it on the tip of your fingers and start from the bottom because you don't want to get a lot of product on the, you know, on the roots so you don't have to wash it again. And then basically spread it around and even though you already spread it, using a brush comes handy because it like spreads the product across the hair on every, you know, every strand. And after you do all that, you use the brush that God gave you, the hand. You start doing this. And then wherever you're gonna have your hair, for this case, I'm gonna put it on my shoulders. So I'm gonna brush it. And then I'm gonna part my hair. Just a little like pieces here and there, just to like make it more majestic. We're good. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Cyril, so I'm a judge here, but who I am to judge? <laughs> yeah, Cyril is a Greek name, and it means Lord or God, so if God can judge you, <laughs> so then oh can he? Okay. I can do it too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know we're in this church name, today. I have a right to judge you. <laughs> okay, I'm a hairstylist with a 21 year old experience, uh, and um, I used to work in the salon, I have my own salons, and um, I see so many hairstyles in my life from the classic ones to really avant-garde and creative hair and I mostly love to do creative hair and uh, what I want to ask you ask each of you is what does your hair mean 
and let's start uh, from <laughs> let's start from you. <laughs> okay, uh, my hair really means to me just kind of the journey that I've been through. So I feel like having that lifelong, literally, attachment to my hair has kind of helped me grow into a person I am. And I feel like as somebody who is African American and having like the culture that I do have behind it, when it comes to me, I feel like my locks are very long, very intuitive, very like I'm trying to build something. It looks great. It's really fascinating. And uh, I was surprised to see because uh, you came here keeping the intrigue with this <laughs> bag on the head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> so I think that I'll keep you here on this place. <laughs> okay. yeah. Then I will change you and you. Okay. No problem. <clears throat> Well, <laughs> uh, it's uh, hard to judge because two totally different looks, but I like them both. Uh, but maybe let's switch. Let's switch. Now we have uh, something like a pyramid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hear me? First, as I told, um, he kept the intrigue with this uh, cover <laughs> <laughs> on the head and uh, I like the locks and I understand uh, how much uh, time and energy you need to invest into uh, doing it. And uh, also, uh, hairstyle is not only about appearance, it's a reflection of who you are. And uh, in this case, it really reflects it. Thank you. What for you, I, I like the color. I like the color and um, you are the highest person in the room, <laughs> so that's why you're in the middle, <laughs> to keep okay. the composition. <laughs> Mohawk. Mohawk is uh, one of my favorite uh, hairstyles. I never had it uh, before. I never had it in my life. It's a kind of my dream. So I really like the appearance uh, that you have right now more than when it is not styled um, yeah but uh, i like this three hair more <laughs> this is why it's here <laughs> and uh, what about you your hair is trendy <laughs> that yes. i don't like it's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my personal opinion no, so sure. yeah maybe in the society uh, people will judge different but uh, what I'm saying, I don't like trendy hair. Right, right. <laughs> I'm channeling one. American Psycho, so it's a little bit less trendy, but that's fine. It's all good. I think hair is such a great expression, so I've had all kinds of looks. And when I go on dates, I have longer beard, shorter beard. People think I'm catfishing them because I look so different. <laughs> but that's just me throughout the years. Like, I look so different. Th this is great. Thank you. This is great that you can change it and uh, you are not um, really stuck in the one hairstyle. No. What about you? What is the meaning of your haircut? <laughs> uh, well, like I said earlier, um, I kind of started this hairstyle when my mother passed. I had this whole change going on, and I feel like I was very reserved a lot of the time growing up. And I'm a music artist, so I kind of felt like I needed to come out of my shell, and I started to do that. And so I started to go with this kind of like rock, kind of like punk rock, a little bit of pop, a little bit of everything, and just trying to be different to maintain this. Sometimes I have to shave my head, too, every once in a while, mm -hmm. because, you know, to do the hair, a lot gets pulled out and stuff. Um, yeah, my hairstyle, um, <clears throat> it reflects like kind of my upbringing, because when I was growing up, I wasn't like allowed to have long hair. So I was really unkept, really short. And then when I was like graduating high school, I started to experiment with like growing it out, different styles, getting twists. Um, but now what it is, is just a reflection of like the freedom, kind of, like feeling like I can, I can have this hair. And I started taking care of it, started maintaining it. And I actually like really fell in love with that, because I, I want to say I almost neglected it before. It wasn't something I thought about every day. This is, uh, I love it much more uh, than when people with curly hair relax it. Yeah, yeah. me too. So, yeah, when it's fluffy, when it looks uh, like, like this, it's, it's great. My turn? Yeah. Okay, uh, well, you know, the job that I have, I'm a creative person. I work with the creative people most of the time. Uh, and I, I always felt like I had to prove myself that I'm a creative person because I had such a regular look about me. So like growing out the hair basically made me more comfortable in my profession where mm -hmm. I already people can tell that I'm somebody who's interested in visuals and music and movies. Yeah, so I feel like I look more like my personality now. Does it take a lot of time to style your hair? 
It does actually. <laughs> so you're investing. Long... In your yes, time, I'm investing right? my time. It takes about an hour for the hair to dry. I air dry it, but yeah, I have also have to like use a couple products to just make it less poofy because it's just naturally very volume esque. <laughs> How big? <laughs> like his hair. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It, it has a lot I'd of like volume. to see it. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs>